in Photoshop how to lock and unlock a layer. Say you want a layer not to move or you want, don't want to apply a brush stroke to a layer, you can do it by going over to the Layers panel. So let's just go through them. Go to Layers, make certain that layer is selected. You can also make it disappear like that. But you can also go along here and you've got locks and you've got here five of them. First one, just click this. So click and that lock is applied. You can see it's applied there. Now what that does, if you go over here to the paintbrush tool, select that and try and apply paintbrush. Now all that area here, you can't apply the brush stroke to. So if you just apply it like that, nothing changes outside of that. Let's undo that. If I go up here to filters, say blur and apply various effects. So let's go for Gaussian blur. And now you can see what happens. The blur effect doesn't go beyond it. So you've got that lovely blur effect, but nothing is spread outwards. So click cancel. If you want, just click that again. Now, if I use a paintbrush, you can see it does actually apply it because I've deselected that. And likewise, I can now cause apply filter such as Gaussian blur, and it's applied outwards as well. So undo. Another option, you got this one, and that's for lock image pixels. So click that. With that locked, you can actually go up here to filter, and you notice that none of the filters, there's a few in render, are available, but that's a slightly different effect. Also, we do paintbrush, let's just apply, and you can see you've got this paintbrush applied but it's not applied to that layer. It just creates another layer. You can see there, got that one there. If I go and delete it, anytime I try and do that, it will always create another layer. And that is the layer with that brush stroke. So deselect that, you can see that. Again, I can then go up here, make sure I select that one, not that one, obviously select that one again, and you can deselect that, and now apply the brush stroke. And you can see now it doesn't create a new layer and also the brush is applied correctly to that layer. So let's undo. And you can see I can just delete that and that's gone. Let's go for the next one. Now you can see I can move this around. You might decide, you know what? I want that to stay in a particular position. I'm happy with it in that location. Don't want to move it by accident at any point. Well, what I can do, I can go here. Just click here. Let's just deselect that one. So I've got that one selected. Now you can have more than one selected. You can go and select all of them. Well, obviously, certain combinations. So with that one, it's locked. So I can't move it. This move tool, if I use the move tool, it will not. And you'll see over here, you've got a lock here. You can at any point simply just click there and that's removed. So you can remove it that way or simply just go over here and click here or click there just to remove it. So there's a couple of ways to remove it. Now, you can reposition it. There's also this option, which I'm not gonna do because I don't use art, art boards and frames. So you can click that and that will prevent nesting as it says, auto nesting. The final one is a full on complete lock. So let's just click that. And now again, you see you've got a different padlock at the end and if you hover over it, does eventually sometimes show you that it's locked, locked, layer locked, it says. All of them have slightly different messages, obviously, and also different padlocks. And now you can't do anything with this again. Filters, all the filters are not available. It's locked. And again, you can click there and now it's unlocked, fully accessible and modifiable. Also, what you can do if you want is go to layer and new and layer background from layer. So background from layer. And now what it does, it makes it as if it's a fresh document back in, back in before you've done anything else. As soon as you've opened it, you often see that it's locked, which is not always what particularly I want. So but often I simply just, again, just click there to completely unlock it again. So if I go to a fresh document, say this one, you can see you get that padlock. That's the default start of everything. You've got the background there locked. At any point, again, simply just go over here and just click that and it's unlocked. And now you can access all the other locks as well as, of course, modify it in many different ways. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike 
always appreciated. Please subscribe to the channel. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Affinity Photo, Designer and many others. Bye.